Hello everyone, I'm Castle, and this video is going to be being, because I'm a being, in love. And I'm not talking about relationships, I'm talking about your presence, a being holding the energy of love. Because love is the essence of the Christ consciousness, and it is God. It, it, it is the essence of God. It's such a high vibration, it, it is something I could speak on for a really long time, but I'm just I'm not going to go there in this video. So, love, man. You know, I get, I get Chinese food every Friday, and my fortune cookies have been kind of lame lately, and you know, sometimes I feel like God speaks to me through fortune cookies, and I know it's silly, yeah, but it's true. Sometimes, not all the times, no way. But this last one was, your love will light up the world, or something like that, close enough. And so, you know, it's just been really on my mind to speak on this, and so much of our society is mental. I don't mean crazy, like, not y'all are crazy like I am, but, you know, I so many people are just in their heads, you know, and just very mental based people. And, and not enough people are coming from their heart center, you know, they're not feeling it, man. They're just not feeling it. And it's so important to love. It really is. So we're going to talk about how to get there real quick and how to hold that. And gosh, it's so healing, it's so healing. Cause you know, working with people, I'm very sensitive to how people feel energetically. I can put my hands near you and feel what hurts on your body or, you know, how your energy system is doing and the most common like place to feel it ouchy on is the heart center, you know, which right not like your boom 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 blood beating heart, you know, I'm talking about the heart chakra, you know. Uh, the energy center, center of your body, and some people say it's right here, but that doesn't make sense because everything's centered, you know, and there's no sense for somebody off to the right. Anyways, I can feel it. I don't need somebody to argue with me and tell me that the heart center field is actually around your heart. No, dude, can you feel? Can you have, can you have feelers? You know, if you feel, it's literally right there. You know, when I, I got a, a heart chakra tattoo, which I'm sure some of you have seen in my other videos where I'm doing it shirtless. You can see my, my heart chakra tattoo. And before I had the guy stick it on there, I felt my hand exactly where I felt my heart chakra was and said, bam, right there, dude. Anyways, so you're going to talk about getting out of your head and into your heart, y'all. So exercise. Put your hands on each side of your temples, maybe a little bit higher up, you know. Um, your palm chakras are right here. The big palm chakra. Because there's lots of little energy chakras on there. Kind of look like a tree frog if you had eyes to see. Anyways, so put it right here. And imagine a white ball of energy right around your third eye. Sorry, I just got out of class. I got ink on my hand. Um, so imagine a white ball in the center and hold it between your two hands and slowly pull it down. I'm gonna use my fingers like imaginary guides. Let's even them up, there you go. So you pull it down your head, down your jaw, neck, pulling this white ball of energy, which is your consciousness, your awareness, your presence, your focus, all the way down to your heart center. And then take your two hands. Let's see if I can do this. Oh gosh, darn camera. There we go. So you want them like a few inches apart, palm over palm, like a bird. So you want to put it over your heart center and just feel it, man. Feel that warmth, you know, and if you suffered recent, you know, suffering from, from pain of, of, of a breakup or someone just betrayed you or whatever, you know, you might feel a little ouch in there. Mine feels pretty good personally. You know, my heart feels great. Um, I do a lot of heart work to, to keep it clean and centered. Um, so, 
And so you're going to sit here and so I'm going to kind of recap, you know, normally your energy, your white ball of energy, your focus is up here. You bring it down through the head, down through the neck, all the way down to the center of your chest. You feel that warmth and just hold it, you know, and, and I get blissed out, man. <laughs> to a natural high. It's like, oh, anyways, nah, I love doing this. One of my favorite exercises. So let's sit here and, you know... We can do a mantra, you know, not like a om mali bed me hum, om mali bed me bed me hum, om mali bed me hum. No, we're gonna do. I love myself. I love myself. I am loved. I am loved. I am so very loved. I am so very loved. The universe loves me. God loves me. I love myself. Whatever you got to say, you know, as long as it's love based. Oh man, it feels so good. Oh gosh, I love it. Ah, hands of light, y'all. So healing. And then, you know, sounds are healing too, if you notice I'm naturally doing it. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. It's all good. All these sounds are good, you know. And and you'll notice if you're doing so like, <sighs> you know, oh, that'll feel good. Oh, yuck. Totally. That didn't feel good. Uh, your sounds really are projecting of your energy. Like, try sitting in a room with a pissed off parent, man. <laughs> well, it's always huffing and puffing, uh, you know, sighs. <sighs> How we go? Mmm. Ah. Yeah. I think the Rastas have it. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just feel that warmth. Feel it. Get it more and more. And, you know, another little trick is, um, like I was doing my palm chakra, spinning the chakras. You know, you would stick your finger right in the center and spin it outwards. Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, camera doesn't do it justice, but my, I'm totally getting bigger. You might even pull some junk out, you know. Or, <laughs> if you do my hand, <laughs> toss that stuff away. Right in the trash can. But, um, <clears throat> okay, if you do energy work on anybody, you don't just throw your junk anywhere. I'm just kind of being silly with that. You don't want someone to step into your garbage, man. Ugh. So... Mm. Oh, that's another thing. If you want to get your hands warmed up and feel how that, you just spin them clockwise, counterclockwise. Feel that energy in and out. Whoom, whoom, <laughs> whoom. Uh, so, yeah. Put it right over the heart center. God, that feels good. Mm. I'm lucky to be me. Got a healthy heart. <sighs> I am so loved. I am so very loved. I'm so loved, it's astounding. It feels good to be this loved, y'all. Because I love myself, and God loves me. And, you know, we can't love others and receive love until we can learn to love ourselves. And this is one of the first steps. I mean, you know, eating right, exercising, ditching the negative thoughts, looking in the mirror in the morning and say, I love you. You're my best friend. You know, these are always, you know, all different ways to get that love train going for yourself so that way you can love another oh man zen out on y'all totally blissed out man my personal little taste of heaven mm, kind of <laughs> I can I can think of one other aspect that's greater than taste of heaven you know I mean twin flame love golly man twin flame Mm, twin flame soulmate love is the closest thing to heaven on earth next to embracing God and, and Christ consciousness I mean you know that's up up in the mix for sure that's in there golly it's hot it feels like there's a furnace under my face it's getting so warm you know and you just hold it here or you can kind of pull it away you know you can't see it 
distance on here, but, you know, I'm holding it away from myself. It's a good foot away. You can hold it there for a little bit. didn't stop my video. Gosh. Sorry, my screen blinks out. I don't like that. Sometimes I stop my video. No, we're just hanging out here, you know. And then you can bring it back in. And it increases the heat and the energy when you do that. God. And start going cross-eyed. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright. That was the exercise. We're gonna have a short bit of real talk because I want to do some other videos. What you know about love, you know? What you know about that love? Love, 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 love is like the only thing that I like to live for. I live to be a service to God. And even these little videos like this is my servitude to God. Oh. I'm going to write that down, because that was a video I forgot about that actually I want to do next. Servitude. You know, I write these little notes, and I lose them. <laughs> but I think it really puts it in here. Anyways. Love, you know. Uh, what a great gift to be able to love another. Love all the people you come across, you know. It's sharing the essence of God, the essence of Christ with another. You know, give people compliments, build them up. Because, you know, we all rise together. We got to build each other up and support each other. And, you know, I think in the early stages, you know, learning to share that God love with others is the first key. Then learning how to share your love with others is the second key. And I think one of the greatest challenges is learning how to share your true love with another in an intimate relationship. That, that can be scary, you know. I mean, I know me and a few other people. I mean, we share that God love everywhere we go. But, you know, some of us kind of hard times, you know, building up our own love and sharing personal love from our personal truth. And then sharing that and exchanging it with another person can be so extremely scary. But I think this is this part of our personal evolution, you know, just to share that intimate love with another because it makes us so vulnerable and, you know, we can get hurt at any time and... And that's scary. It totally is scary. You know, personal. <laughs> My personal reality says yes, that can be scary. Because then all these psychological issues that we build up come into play of, are they going to abandon me? Are they going to reject me? You know, uh, and then you have all these expectations and blah, 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 blah. You know, all this psych stuff comes up. Mm. Now we're speaking of psych stuff about love. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, y'all go a little venture. Okay, so, personal time. Me and my dad were discussing the concept of personal love this morning because he has this understanding or theory about how when we say, I love you to another, most especially intimately, but just in general, um, it's what love looked like us to a child, you know, and so if someone got beat a lot and then I love you came after that, you know, to them, love looks like a slap to the face. Ooh, <laughs> you know, and some, some people love looks like a fist and some people looks like a loving embrace. Oh, come here. Mm. you know, it's different to everybody. Um, Love could look like a yelling match. I'm not going to do that. You're so close to me. I'm not going to yell in your ear. I love you. <laughs> but you get the point. And my dad, he hit me with one today. He goes, What is, when, when you were a child, Castle, and, and your parents and loved ones said, I love you. 
to you, what does that mean, you know, at that point in your life, how did it affect you, and it's the ironic part, it's my dad, so he's one of those parents, and I'm like, dad, <laughs> you already know this, but uh, no one told me I loved you as a kid, so I draw a blank on that one, and he's all, so what does that mean to you, son, I was like, well, when someone says, I love you to me, I say, I don't know what that looks like. Will you please show me? It's like, so when someone says, you know, I love you, I'm like, that's awesome. Now show me what you mean. And in a relationship, whenever I say I love you, I'm going, I don't know what love looks like. Will you show me? You know, I mean, just no one ever told me that as a kid. So I just draw a blank, you know, and, and I've learned through life what I feel like love is, of course, and through my spiritual awareness and my personal growth through life. But when we look at childhood subconscious programming and, and I have to look at things, I'm like, mm, yeah, you're right. You know, um, <laughs> you know, that's like, I know subconsciously that is going on. And, um, so, you know, I got the God love down and the Christ love and all that and friendship and all that. But, you know, intimately or, or, familiar family uh when <laughs> when someone says i love you to me you know part of me just goes well i don't believe you show me and when i say i love someone i'm like hey i want to know what love looks like let's let's experiment i guess um i don't know i stated it eloquently this morning i was totally in that zone but you know just sharing that little tidbit and so parents, you know, love on your children, say I love you often, and let it be in a nice moment, and um, in a healthy relationship, because, you know, I mean, we all need to hear it, and sometimes, oh man, you know, I mean, sometimes an abusive, mental, physical, emotional, abusive house, your kid's going to adapt that and condition that to love, or in my case, grow up clueless about what that means, you know, like, hug, huggy, kissy, lovey business is, is, was foreign to my childhood, absolutely, no coddling, no, no snuggles, you know, no that, and now I, like, can't get enough of it, it's ridiculous, but maybe I'm just trying to fill that gap or learn about it, I don't know, but every person's different, and I'm just reflecting psychology back into the world, so, you know, you can look at it in your own life because I'm just an example and, you know, you can look at yours and and then treat your kids differently, you know. Um, you know, if we can raise whole children, we have healthy adults, but if we raise broken children, we got broken adults and they're the next generation. Keep in mind, that person's going to have to take care of you when you're older. I don't have that problem <laughs> because I don't have any kids, so... But, you know, all my friends and family, you know, they all got kids and I try to build them up, you know, I'm their good friend that puts positive psychology on them the best I can because doing psych work with adults, you realize how much trauma they get within the first eight, ten years, you know, and how that shapes their entire future and the junk you have to go through. But anyways, this video is getting way longer than I wanted, didn't mean to go in psych world on you, but... <laughs> now you know my secret. I love you. <laughs> yeah. But from a Christ God point, I truly love you. You know, I, I see the God in you and in Namaste in Lakesh. A ho and such. I'm not calling you a ho, it's anyways, if you know what that means, you know it. But uh <clears throat> Love Life. Totally, man. It's been my motto for a while. So I truly do love life. Life is a beautiful thing. I mean, just because my parents didn't show me love as a kid doesn't mean I'm clueless. Because God showed me love, and Christ showed me love, and the earth showed me love. And my spirit showed me love. The Holy Ghost showed me love. It's all good. I got a good grasp on the idea of love and what it is to love life and, and be a loving being in love. But when you start talking about relationships, <laughs> uh, but 
I hope this video finds you well, having a good day, night, evening, morning, whatever, however, wherever you are, man, you're so beautiful, you know, just look in that mirror and say, I love you, you're my best friend, you're so beautiful, and it's so true, you really are, even if you don't see it or know it, you know, I guarantee you, you are. Love life and love yourself.